Jaya! The topic for this video is why do men even ejaculate? We're going to talk a little bit of, uh, about ejaculation mastery, mastering your sexual energy and uh, the tools that men can develop to actually hold back or master their ejaculation and uh, so that their stamina can be increased and empowered. You know, when a man ejaculates, when a man loses semen, most of the times here is what happens. You're on this high, you have a high degree of sexual tension awakening inside of you. You feel all this love and all this attention and all this attraction towards the woman or the man you're spending time with. And then, here we go, there is this peak orgasmic experience that happens, the ejaculation happens and then you massively deplete your energy. <clears throat> you enter into what we call the after sex effect and this refraction period can last for 20, 20 days, 21 days they say. So during that time what happens is that your whole stamina, your sexual energy, your creative power, your level of internal energy, your vitality, all that decreases and then you end up in this refraction period where you're not at, at your optimized level of, of energy. So different men will have different levels of impact about ejaculating. But what I can tell you is that I'm freaking surprised that not more men are practicing the art of simply not ejaculating, not releasing semen, transmuting their sexual energy to uh, their whole body, their whole mind, their whole being, and turning that into creative power and creative energy that is going to blast their lives. So men, if you heard that story before, Okay, if you heard this before, what I want to encourage you here is to give it a try. A solid try. Not just like, yeah, maybe I will try tomorrow and then you ejaculate the day after. No, it is that you solidly commit yourself to non-ejaculation for like a period of a month. And then you see what happens. And if you feel that it's working for you, then you keep on doing it. My guess is that you will be blown away because what happens is really your level of vitality is increased to a point where there is suddenly an overflow of energy that you didn't know you could access. And uh, the possibility of this radically changing the way you relate to your body, to your life, to your sexual energy is really, really high. So here we go. How do you practice that? It's very simple. The moment you start reaching the point of no return, the moment where you, are, you feel like you are going to release semen, you simply don't go there. It requires a little bit of willpower in the beginning, you know, something that you really commit yourself to and you realize that it's really important for you. But basically, you just have to go for it and try it. And what you are fighting for or what you are fighting with internally are instincts that have been programmed in your system for a long, long time. Okay, this is uh, uh, animal instincts that we are talking about that have been embedded in our system for a long time. So you're fighting with a part of your animal nature, which is really, really powerful. If it wasn't for the urge for ejaculation, um, as a human race, we would have been extinct. So <laughs> the survival of the human race depends on men ejaculating. If there was no urge for ejaculation, we would have been extinct a long time ago. So it's important to understand that the internal urge is really, really high. But what you do when you tame that aspect of your nature is transmuting these energies, letting them rise towards your whole being. And then what starts to happen is that instead of having a, a temporary peak orgasm that you know doesn't really give you long-term satisfaction, what you will face is a long-term orgasmic wave that start kicking in into your system and you enter into different states of bliss, especially if you are, um, you, your level of uh, sexual activity is relatively high, then, you know, if you are having sex like two or three hours a day for a period of maybe 10, 10 to, to 20 days, then you will see that the level of energy in your system starts rising to the point of you entering into an orgasmic wave, which is completely completely a completely different experience than a temporary peak orgasm that you get when you're ejaculating so here we go this is my my prayer to you or my invitation to you guys out there um try it out let me know how it goes and uh, if you are a woman and you are watching this video realize that this is something that you can inspire your man to do as well you can guide your man or you can help him if he suggested the idea of no longer ejaculating for a period of time you can be supportive for him to try this out and my guess is that you as a woman you are going to tremendously benefit 
from an increase in stamina, an increase in love, an increase of all the qualities, the vitality that your man will bring into your relationship when, when he starts doing that. Again, um, different men, different results or different bodies, different men will respond in different ways. What I'm talking about here is something that, uh, you know, that I've been, I've been experiencing and lots of men are talking about that, the ones that I know who are practicing that as well. Personally, I have been, you know, practicing uh, the art of ejaculation mastery for a long period of time, like 20 more years. And uh, for instance, over the last five years, I had a, a long, long period where I hardly ejaculated. I ejaculated maybe, you know, a few months back consciously. It was a choice. Uh, and otherwise, there has been long, long periods of, of non-ejaculation, uh, you know. So, yeah, it's possible, you know. It's not rocket science. It's something that is within the range of what you can um, tame or uh, um, train your body to do. I hope this inspires you. If you are experiencing it or if you're a man who is already practicing that, please post in the comments. Give your, your testimonial to how this works for you. And uh, I'll see you soon. I love you.